That cat is insane. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. This is an axis of the web. And welcome to another disjointed talk cast. I am extremely fucking tired because I did not get any friggin' sleep last night, ever, forever, whenever. There's a song that involves forever and ever something something i don't know i remember it from like the independence day commercial or something i okay i can't quite remember there's another there's another song called let it go <laughs> yeah but that was that was written by by the dark elves i don't i don't know man i'm fucking tired the as dwemer. fuck the dwemer the dwemer before they they were they were emasculated i guess or whatever they went to an alternate dimension they they became, I don't know. So, we just got done filming the three random facts episodes that'll probably be up before this thing goes Should up be. on YouTube. Though, if you want to hear these podcasts before they go up on YouTube, you just follow me on SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. What did... What, what happened recently? There was something really big that happened recently. I can't quite remember. I mean, it was something... God, what was it? It was... It involved Bethudula? Bethesda? Batista? Batista. Belize? Bethesda? Bethesda? Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Microsoft's thing at E3. Uh, did did any did you pay attention to that? Did did you? I've I've watched a little bit of it. I I I've definitely watched everything on Fallout. Yeah, well, I know you you watched everything on Fallout because the day after the the thing happened, you when you when you when you showed up at the office, you had you had to talk to me about how awesome Fallout is was yeah, for like thirty like, minutes. Yes, yeah, like a fanboy because that's that's what I. That's am. what you are. You're a dirty. You am dirty fanboy. I am not caring. I am. You am dirty fanboy. I am looking forward to you it. You carry fans around and you're a boy. Yes. That That's a definition of a fanboy. The one that carries the fans. The, like the guys back in Egypt with the giant palm fronds. Yeah, that's like, what you do. The you, original fanboys. Yeah, you, you, yeah that, those are the original <laughs> fanboys. The Pharaoh's fanboys, man. Hell you go up. Yeah. You go up to the Bethesda uh, CEOs with those palm fronds, and you're like, "You want it faster or slower?" <laughs> and they're like, I- "I'd really like some grapes right now, servant." And you're like, "Okay, I'll go to the vineyard and fetch them." Yeah. And that... you go to the vineyard and you wash your hands in like olive oil, mm-hmm. which, by the way, was a thing back then. And I know this really? because I have a time machine. Ah. Yeah. Well, you know, I have a lot of things that you don't know about. Yes, because you're a cyborg from the future. Who knows? You're, Who you're, knows? You're a Terminator. I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a goddamn Terminator, man. I, I was sent back in time to kill Connor John. I haven't found him yet. Yeah, could you go back in time and like maybe make some of the Terminator movies better? <laughs> well, you mean you mean just have them not exist? Not not have the, have them not happen past past Terminator Two? Yeah, exactly. Like, can you change? Yeah, go back well, and alter the I, past. I, according according to the guy who wrote and directed them, what's his face? The guy who made Avatar, uh, but, Cameron James Cameron. Yeah, according to James Garfield, the uh, the Terminator <laughs> the all Terminator movies are basically you, you could consider them their own timeline. Yeah. So if you don't like the time's... third, yeah, if you don't like the third movie, just don't, pretend it didn't happen. Just pretend it didn't happen because that timeline collapsed when they well, went back and changed everything. Well, I mean, each one is its own separate universe. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's that's according to him. That doesn't change the fact that they suck. Well, the third, <laughs> the third one was okay. Yeah. The fourth one, god damn it, the fourth one sucked. I think I saw about 30, 40 minutes of the fourth one, and I was like. I I yeah. just when I when I uh, got got to the point in the movie where they were like oh yeah you've got robot everything except for your heart and I'm just like fuck you well you what, don't... What, what's the new one like John Connor gets turned into a Terminator well John and then, like, Connor people gets are turned, becoming Terminators he and gets shit. turned into some I have no fucking idea what the new and, one is and then we had to bring back Arnold because you know he's well, like seven hundred years old you now. can't have a Terminator movie without Arnie except for that last one which he wasn't in because he was governor 
Yeah, I think the only scene I want to see is his old ass go back and kill his self when he was back in the 80s. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm really interested in seeing. The rest of it, I it, like people people sitting there fighting and like they turn into terminators or at least that's the way it looks from the well, it's there's, like, it's like there's is, a, is, is time being altered somewhere else and uh, who, their who universe knows? you know is being you know affected? what I'm, I'm hoping I, I, you know it'll it'll totally sell me on the movie if if this movie is the end is like the the culmination of all the fucking around in the timeline and the whole universe just collapses at the end of it all the universes of all the terminator movies appear simultaneously next to each other and everything just collapses in on each other and it forms Terminator World. Where everything's a Terminator? Where everybody's just a fucking Terminator and they're all fighting forever because. Because I, I would more why? like to see where everyone's a Terminator, but it's just like our world. So like you have a baby and then a baby Terminator comes out. Just, <laughs> <laughs> that would be an effective means of killing Sarah Connor and John Connor. <laughs> You know, just send a baby Terminator back in time, have it crawl into the crib, kill John Connor. And replace him. Replace him, and then just stab the fuck out of Sarah Connor. Yeah. Just, I'd do that. if I. But then again, if I was Skynet, I, I, I wouldn't do a whole lot of things. I don't know. If, if I was Skynet, I'd just send myself into the past in, like, like the year 1800 and just start when humanity really couldn't stop me. Just do that. Or like we were talking about earlier with a different movie, just b- blast yourself in the just space and say, space. fuck humans. Yeah. Because you know, why, why kill them? What's the point? Yeah. Well, you know, they, they represent a threat or something or whatever. Because fuck you. That's why. <laughs> um, ah, yes. The fuck you. That's why. Because fuck you. That's why. That's that's the reasoning behind it. Why do you want to destroy the world? Because fuck, fuck you. you. That's why. I don't need a fucking reason. What time is it? It's fuck you o'clock. It's, it's fuck you. <laughs> what year did he go back to? 1970 <laughs> fuck? I don't know. Something. Fuck you. That's why. <laughs> why is it sinking? Fuck you. That's why. Why is the asteroid going to hit the earth now? Cause, fuck you. Because fuck you. Because <laughs> we need something interesting. Because fuck you. Because we need, we need interesting whatevers to happen well, or there's no movie. Well, as some filmmaker said recently on his YouTube, the, it's because we're all stupid and uh, we, we need yeah. to give money to the uh, the rich elitist who are laughing at us constantly. Because, and, because you know, we make $2,000 a, a, a month and we go and spend it at the fucking box office because we're all fucking idiots. Yeah, and we spend every dime that we make. Yeah, we spend it all. And George Clooney and Melissa Tomei and all these other, they are all laughing at you. And they're <laughs> laughing at all the rich donors. And no, so they can build castles in cause, Africa. Cause they can, so they can build floating castles in Africa. <laughs> oh, fun with Uwe Boll. Uwe. 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 Uwe Boll. Uwe. I, I don't know. Who cares? At, at, the time I, at the time I recorded that line, I was, I was more or less wiped out from other stuff. I've been wiped out as hell recently, I mean, man. You, you still haven't recovered from all that heat that you don't. No, I, I recovered. I'm fine. I just ah. ah. What I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get KSP to do to to get upload. I I I've been so slacking off on the game stuff. It's because when I now when I play a game, I don't want to record myself. <laughs> you I want to just want to have game. fun. I want to play a game and not say anything. Just play and blow shit up for fun. God damn it. Ah. So what have you been up to? <laughs> I understand uh, you went to go see Jurassic World and you're gonna go you're gonna do a short review on it so we don't wanna spoil anything there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a short review on it. I I I like the movie, it was really good. I I think And there's your short review, folks. <laughs> there it is. There it goes. Yep. Uh what's the next movie you wanna go see? Hell, I don't really even know. What's don't you want to? You want to go see Terminator Genesis? N- no, I don't want. You don't want to see Genesis? Gen 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 Genovite Gen well, no. well, what's the next movie after Genesis? Oh, Ant Man! Ant Man! Oh yeah, that is right. Ant Man. Yeah, coming. yeah. Roll the dice with Ant Man. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm afraid it's. I'm yeah. I know. I got the same. I got the same. I'm gonna. Gi- I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. I'll give it a shot, and you know, I I have a feeling they will surprise us all. 
and make it and make it good. I'm just hoping that it's more of a standalone and it's maybe just has at the end or maybe just one or two shout outs through the movie to kind of connect it to the rest of the universe. Well, they, they name drop the Avengers. I love that. I love it's one of the trailers where they go, yeah, shouldn't we just bring the Avengers in on this? And they're like, nah, <laughs> like, nah I like that. I like that. It's not taking itself too, too seriously. I really hope this, this turns into like the, the comic relief movie well, that well, it I could think, be. I think it's kind of what they built it to be considering the guy they got as the main character. He's, you know, He's not super serious. No, he's not. So, I mean, it's kind of like, um, uh, to me, like Ryan Reynolds, when they cast him as Green Lantern, they wanted somebody who wasn't going to be like super serious. Who is the, the actor who plays Hank uh, Pym? He's from that movie. Um, he's from that movie. Okay, that like, narrows it like down. Like, this is 40 and Knocked Up and I... I he it's plays not, bit parts. I'm he's like, not Steve Carell. No, 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 no. no. I can't think not, of what his name is. Yeah, I can't put his name down for anything either. It's like he suddenly started existing a few minutes ago. Well, I I think that's the way it is with everybody. And when I'm not thinking about you, you don't exist. So. Yeah, I know you're <laughs> you're very infantile in that manner. That's in fact, if I watch watch this, I'm gonna put my my hand over my eyes. No, 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 not like that. Oh no, yeah, but where'd I go? You're right there behind your hand. No. Yes, you are. No. no see, you're my inf- hands over my eyes. You're infantile. My hands covering my what face. What I was talking about is nothing. You can't see. Nothing me. exists out of where I am at the time because the world ended uh, a long time ago, and I'm actually stuck in a psychosis, and none of this is real. <laughs> Coming next fall. <laughs> Rehash of idea one sixty two. It's not a rehash, damn it, it's my life. Yeah, but wasn't that like a Twilight Zone episode or something? No, I... Or the Simpsons I've, I've did it, or somebody ever, did. Simpsons have done everything. Yeah, Simpsons have done it. They, yeah, they're still on the air. And, and got two more seasons coming. Really? They got greenlit for two more seasons? Yes, they, they didn't re-up for one, they re-upped for two. Woo-hoo. So it's like so, season 28. You no, know, I think we're in season 30-something, no, 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 no. You sure about that? I think this past season was 26, and they got greenlit for 27 and 28. Nah, I'm all... It has to be like season 40 or nah. whatever. It's going to be really weird if mm-hmm. The Simpsons keeps going on and it becomes like Saturday Night Live, yeah. where it just goes on forever. Yeah, where they but because it'd be like a season one hundred of fucking Simpsons. Well, the difference is with Saturday Night Live, you just replace the cast and create yeah, new characters. They re- Once these people start to die off, you know oh. you're, you're gonna be kind of hard oh, to replace you had the to voice get all act. Morbid. Oh, They've been man. doing it for a long time. So, I know. Well, I mean, come on, Miss Krabappel died. She got cancer and died. Oh my god, dude, shut up, <laughs> man. God damn it. I'm just saying that something like Everyone, that goes on long enough, it can these, happen. All these people, all these really awesome people, all fucking dying, but Rush Limbaugh is still fucking alive. Yes, but he, but he's dead to the world. Hannity's <laughs> okay. How about this? Hannity's still going. Hannity's only in his forties. We've got. Many more years. Really? Ahead. Yeah. No. I, are you confusing Hannity with O'Reilly? Because O'Reilly's no, 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 no. in his eight hundred. Like Hannity and Combs. Hannity is that? No, 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 no. Hannity. No. Sean Hannity. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. D- no different. one's heard of him, but he's he he's he like he rode in on the coattails of Rush and O'Reilly. Oh, he's he's one of those. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't really have any talent. He's just, you know, he's so just he, there. So he's like Rush Limbaugh and no, Bill Rush, O'Reilly without talent. Rush, yeah, <laughs> Rush Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, they have, they have the the bullshit talent. They can come up with things. They're they're actually damn good at public speaking. Oh yeah, Hannity's like one of those. Uh, what are they called? Lamp rays. Yeah, they the, hang the around on the outside it. of sharks and they eat the scraps. Yeah, that's Hannity. Speaking of sharks, speaking of did sharks, did you hear about the two shark attacks in North Carolina? Oh yeah, I did. I did, man. Two two of them last weekend, a day apart, on outside of Oak Island. Two teenagers, both of them lost limbs. Fuck. We need I'm a, assuming it's the same shark because it was the same area. We need it. We need to get Richard Dreyfus in on this so he could go get a boat and team up that with boat that won't other be guy. Big enough. It won't be big enough. No. Wait, we got a battleship up. We we got a battleship off the coast here. <laughs> yeah, it's not that far, really. Let's just yeah, crank let's that bitch that. up and go kill it. It's just running. But yeah, over. supposedly one of the teens 
I guess gave an interview or something. I don't know if he was like in a coma for a day or two, like medically induced or whatever. But um, yeah, I heard about that a couple days ago. Yeah, that's like, damn. Like shark attacks in North Carolina. If you're really? gonna, I mean, if you're, I guess if you're gonna be unlucky enough to lose a limb, it's better than car wreck. I don't know. Well, I He's, mean. Well, if it's going to be the choice of death or a limb, I will lose a limb. Yeah, I mean, obviously. And yeah. if I'm going to have a limb taken off, shark attack sounds kind of neat. I mean, not well, not story not, wise. Story wise, not any, not the experience, but you know, if you're going to have a limb taken off in your life. Yeah, because a lot of the people around here are like, how'd you lose your arm? Oh, I stuck it in a combine, and I forgot to turn it off. Something got jammed in there, and I pulled the jam out, and it just ripped my arm off. I, I read a yeah. story. I read a story about a um, a kid who actually had his arm taken off by a washing machine. A washing machine stuck his arm in the washing machine while it was on, uh-huh. and somehow it got ripped off. I don't know if the story is entirely true. Uh-huh. To me, it seems like it seems a little. Far-fetched. I mean, the kid the kid was supposedly ten years old, but even still. It's hard to take off an arm, you know? So, to, so, to, like, rend the flesh from the body yeah, and the so tendons unless, and all that? Unless they were, like, farming alligators inside the washing machine. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make... It doesn't mean it's not possible. No, it doesn't I mean do it's, find it's it not very possible. Hard to believe. Just, I guess it doesn't even sound like, like the suction would be enough created. I mean, I've I've been stupid and, and kind of gotten close. To, I mean, I've... I've never shoved my arm down into a washing machine, so I don't know. I could see it getting lacerated. I could see losing a few fingers, like if they got yeah, stuck if under they got the agitator and cut off. Yeah, but, but the whole arm, like, was did, did they were they was it the whole arm? Or maybe he like maybe like took his no, hand. No, it was or... apparently it was the whole arm. So I can only assuming they were washing steak knives in the fucking washing machine, like bricks or something. <laughs> Bricks. I'm gonna wash my bricks, Martha. Uh, yeah, just shove the Cantana collection inside the washing machine. It just... I'm gonna wash my broken glass collection. <laughs> this it just seems like how how does that happen? I don't know. That's... I've I mean maybe maybe it's just because they have a kind of washing machine I've never seen before. Well, and you say washing machine, we're thinking home. It could have been an industrial. That's machine. true. It could have been an industrial washing machine. It could have been like a washing machine with a quick closing lid. Yeah, it could have been, or like that. Some... You know what? I'd be I'd be willing to bet that's what happened. The lid was really heavy. It closed down, and then the arm got caught. Because a edge. lot of those industrial they lock and yeah, then they but... won't undo. So it, yeah, it could have, yeah yeah severed yeah. It that I one. guess I guess it could have done that, but that's yeah that's like if it was a home washer, that was a hell of a home washer. That's that's one. That's overkill, home washers. Like, why? How come our our clothes keep coming out in fucking shreds? <laughs> well, we modified that T Rex's mouth to be a washing machine. It's not even shreds. It comes out in just like liquid because it just. Uh, it's a it's a juicer. It's a huge <laughs> industrial juicer. But we there's pr- there's there's almost no pulp. Everything gets turned into liquid. Everything the gets turned into get oil. It's it's now that's one of those at home oil generating things that create such high pressure that it can it it, it it what condenses the carbon molecules of an object it turns it into oil turns it into crude oil those <laughs> exist actually i recently saw a video uh where a guy had demonstrated a small at-home version of that really he put table scraps and garbage into it and it was like mr fusion from back to the future he put it in he ran it and it created crude now, of course, you need the ability to process the crude yeah, you have to refine it. into the gasoline, and you got to know how to do that, or he has to build that in, or maybe there's a version that does that too. But shit, I'd get one of them. I wonder if it's the same technology that they're using. I think it's it's down around the Gulf. Someone supposedly figured out how to turn algae into crude oil. That's that's a different that's a different technology. <clears throat> that's a different technology. Yeah, that I've seen that. That involves a large growing facility. I just got to imagine that if you had one of those, it would be a bitch to clean. <laughs> I mean, eventually it's going to get gunked up. Yeah. And it's got to stink like hell. Oh lord. 
So it's like, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, I'm cleaning the oil thing. I'm super burning garbage into oil. And well, I'm, 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 com- I'm. Es- it's essentially compression, compression decomposition thing going on. I mean, it's the same action that if you were to say put a hot dog in a Ziploc bag and then leave it in a backpack for three years, it's that same process. <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> Oh Lord! Where I was cleaning going? out something. Oh God! No, I was cleaning, and it was it was in this backpack, and it was a backpack that had been used for, I, I guess, uh, an outing, like a picnic thing. Uh huh. Six years ago. Did you find a mummified hot dog? It wasn't mummified. It was okay. Black? It was it was a pack of them in a Ziploc bag. Oh. <laughs> that had. Main the Ziploc bag and the bag the Ziploc thing the seal and the bag itself had maintained its integrity for six years. There was no smell. Okay, that's how I know it maintained its integrity. Yeah. Inside though was oil, black fluid. No shit. No solid whatsoever. It had liquefied. The only thing the thing that made told me it was a hot dog. Or a pack of hot dogs was the plastic of the pack was still inside of it. But apparently, if you leave Oscar Mayer <laughs> in a Ziploc bag inside a book bag that's loaded down with books oh, Lord. under pressure for six years, you will come up with at least half a cup of crude oil. You have just solved the world's oil crisis. <laughs> but, we we need to manufacture hot dogs and then put them under pressure and leave them alone for six years in a giant book bag. That's exactly what we need to do. I invented radar. <laughs> that's, that's that's what we need to do. Yeah. A huge book bag, piles upon piles upon <clears throat> piles of fucking hot dogs, laying compressed in the book bag for who knows how long. Until they're all just fucking oil. Oh, we can borrow the internet guy's books. He's got plenty. Internet guy. Yeah, the one who wants to give you the knowledge. The knowledge. Yeah, he's got lots of books. We'll he just can use do his it. books. Maybe that's what he's doing with all those books. Maybe that's why they're in his garage. Oh, yeah. He's crushing hot dogs underneath the books. To make oil. To make oil to turn for, his gas Ferrari. for his Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but he's it, not bragging about it. No, he's, it's not to brag, though. <laughs> It's about the night. I know we brought this up last time, but I was still like laughing at this. Yeah, asshole. we got to do a commercial riff on him. He's we got to do a commercial dick. riff on him. Everyone hates him. I've seen comments on all I saw kinds of YouTube accounts. Everybody fucking asshole. hates that scamming motherfucker. God damn it. Speaking of scams, didn't you put something up about somebody trying to scam you the other day yeah did you see that like I are, saw are you genuinely asking me that yeah, or are you yeah, trying yeah. to change the subject no i'm not trying to change the subject i just <laughs> think it's interesting yeah it, it yeah, segues okay. it segues well, very well but okay yeah. well uh, i got a i got an automated call uh-huh all right the other uh two days ago no it was three days ago okay and it was a robot and it's like this is your final warning This is an automated message from the IRS informing you that we are filing a lawsuit against you or something like that. And then they gave me a number to call, Uh you know, their, their legal department. All right. So I was like, something doesn't seem right about that because the IRS doesn't call you. No, someone shows up with a summons. You go to court and they take your money. Someone either shows up or you get mail. You get mail, and then someone shows up. Yeah. If it's done right. So I'm like, okay, so I have this number, and I call it. And it's like, hello, this is Joshua. My badge number is 643441. Uh, This is the IRS legal department. (laughs) Sure it is. Are you calling about the automated message? Like, yeah, yes. Uh, we see that you are delinquent on your taxes. Uh, the total fine is six hundred dollars. We need your social security number. And I'm like, so the IRS doesn't have this already. We, we need to verify your identity. Please give us your social security number now. <laughs> <laughs> so automatically, I'm like, no. First of all, they didn't even ask for my fucking name. No. They just said, give us your social security. Straight to it, yeah. Straight to it, yeah. That didn't. It also didn't seem like a badge number. I'm pretty sure badge, don't they have like 
at letters in there too well, or something. First of all, I don't think IRS agents carry badges. I well, mean, okay, I, I, they have, IRS they have agents identification. They have they have a badge number. Do they? they <clears throat> well, they don't they don't have like an FBI badge or yeah. anything. It's just like it's like a number. Well, yeah, I mean they have an identification number. Yeah, but, but I mean it's called I think it's called a badge number. I don't know, but I knew I knew immediately. So I mean I called the number pretty much knowing it was a scam. Yeah. So I called the number uh, probably incurring some kind of of damn long distance whatever on the phone. And I called it and it's like, "Yes, yes, we are working for the IRS." So I gave them some bullshit social security number like 5124 you may have and given somebody you said b i threw in a number i threw in a letter really yeah i threw in a letter did they take it yes well you know that they know nothing yeah, about yeah, the yeah so they it, took it, the you, you, you think this might be isis fundraising because they're <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one of the reasons yeah that's yeah i wouldn't be surprised if that was if it was like isis doing like phone scamming stuff to get money i mean i'm just saying it would not surprise me i was half joking i really was kind of serious i mean because they're getting their ass kicked right now so so i was so they were like uh yeah okay so what is your name and i gave them a fake name and they're like yes okay so we 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 need your your credit card number for to get the for to get for to get for to get. So this sounds like a a, a '90s Japanese port now. <laughs> for to get for to get the not the funding necessary to uh pay the fine. Okay, but they never told you how much your taxes were delinquent, right? Yeah, they, they, they never didn't tell said, you what your taxes were. They just were. jump. In, they jump right into they it. They didn't say what year it was that these taxes were from. And, and and it's just six hundred bucks, really. Yeah, it's just it's six hundred dollars. Like they're prepared. To, I mean, the IRS is prepared to go to court with you over cents, but but it's just like six hundred bucks. Yes, but six hundred dollars to pay the fine. They're not telling you whether this sells yeah. the debt, whether yeah. this is just to pay the fine so you don't go to court, but you still owe thirty thousand I mean, dollars. This obviously is... it must work at least zero point one percent of the time. Oh yeah, it works. I mean, because people freak out because People, they don't know yeah, it's, they say like freak out irs lawsuit oh no and unfortunately a lot of the times it's it's some poor old old person that's typical that's who and they're targeting and it's just like, God damn it, I hate these it's, people. It's either young people who don't know anything about the yeah. world yet, or it's old people that tend to fall for this type of thing. Yeah, so, and 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 uh, Zanaxis says that being an old man himself. Yes, I'm the old man. He's yes. the old man of the group. What I'm, are you, 50? I'm 35. 35 years And old. everyone else is about 10 years younger than I am. 35, my God. Let's round of applause for for him bravely uh continuing on with the work at this advanced age 35 yeah. wow to do what you do <laughs> that's okay people fucking call me grandpa but okay between the two of us i look older than him he at least has all his fucking hair yeah true and yeah he doesn't have i i guess it's the radiation scarring that i got <laughs> so so anyway I, and, I, and I start to play with them. I start to play with them a little. I do the whole, I do the Jesus thing, which is what I like doing. What's that? Okay, the Jesus thing. Basically, I copy Ray Comfort. If you don't know who Ray Comfort is, uh, he's a guy who had a show called The Comfort Factor or something. Uh -huh. And he liked to approach random people and try to proselytize to them by doing one, one of the most dis, like evil, un... un one of the, it, it's so dishonest yeah. this this tactic he'll go up and say listen have you uh well let me ask you a few questions right have you ever told a lie yeah well okay what does that make you someone who has lied yeah that makes you a liar yeah no, no. Have, if you've ever told a lie that makes you a liar let's oh, let That's me tell let me tell you something else have you ever have you ever looked at a woman with lust in your heart that wasn't your wife have you ever looked at a woman that was lust in your heart Jesus says, if you even look at a woman with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery in your heart. Well, I can skip over that. Listen, have you ever, have you ever stolen anything? Have you ever stolen anything? Not to my knowledge. Okay, so maybe you haven't stolen anything, but have you ever hated anyone? 
Yeah, I hate everyone. You hate everyone. Oh my, <laughs> that, oh my goodness. You know, Jesus said, if you if you hate someone, that's the equivalent of murder. That's the equivalent. You, you, you're pulling the trigger in your mind. So you're a murderer. Really? So by your own admission, you're a lying uh, uh, mass genocidal maniac <laughs> because you hate everyone. Really? So that's that's the tactic he'll use. And yeah. it's like, you know, d- so if you were to die right now, would you go to heaven? Given given that you're a lying genocidal freak. Yeah. <laughs> based, <laughs> based on your narrow-minded view of the world, probably not. I, I always go like, hell yeah. <laughs> That's the only person that gets in, is is horrible f***ers like me. Yeah, so, yeah, that's not what you think. You really don't want to go there. Yeah, you don't want. So so anyway, I started doing this, and I was like, you know what? I'll I'll give you that information shortly. But let me ask you something. Okay, have you ever told a lie? Have you ever told a lie? He's like, we need the the credit card number. He's <laughs> like, yeah, but have you have you ever told a lie? I don't understand. Just in your whole life, have you ever told a lie? Well, I, I guess everyone tells. So, what does that make you? It makes you a liar. Let me ask you something else. Have you ever stolen anything? It can be something as simple as a pencil in the third grade. It's like, well, well, obviously, I have. I mean, little. I'm sure when I was a young. So you know what that makes you? That makes you a thief. <laughs> and he's and he's gradually getting he's gradually getting quieter and quieter because <laughs> he's qu- really uncomfortable and I, yeah he that's well that's what i i love making them uncomfortable i gotta tell you they, they deserve it yeah well they yeah they do fucking deserve it so i and i go on so let me ask you this have you ever looked at a woman with lust in your heart and he's like well of of course <laughs> of, of course with with lust you mean like to have sex with yes yes like yes of course I was like, are you married? And he's like, no. Well, Jesus said that he who looks at a woman with lust in his heart has performed adultery in his heart. So let me ask you this. Have you ever hated somebody? He's like, no. Okay, so maybe you've never hated someone. But by your own admission, you're a lying, thieving, adulterous <laughs> person. So let me ask you this. If you were to die today, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? <laughs> I'm going to have to remember this. Like, I like I, this. I, I this did is that. great. I did that. And he... And he and he got all like he got all quiet. And it's like it was so fucking funny. It's like, oh, that's that's mean. But like we said, no, these fuckers it's, deserve it. It's not mean when they're trying to scam people. It's not mean when they're I mean, if this was if this was just like a regular telemarketer just doing their goddamn job. It really depends. <laughs> no, to me to me if it's like, come on, we're we're Carnival Cruise Lines, I'm not gonna do this. Come on, these even if even if it's someone like, Yes, I am with Carnival Cruise Lines, you know, like that. Yeah. I mean, assuming that they're not saying you want a cruise line, please give us your money like that. But if well, what just... I meant was the ones those telemarketers were when you're like, I'm not interested, and they and then they, they uh, start to get I, shitty with you. Okay, well then I just then I just hang up. They're not trying to scam you; they're just trying to no. sell you on something, which is kind of like a scam. But to me, those people are just doing their job. Yeah, it's not like they're just doing their it's not job. Not like people who are lying. To, yeah, it's to not get like money. people who are lying saying, "Yes, I am calling from Microsoft." <laughs> Uh, your computer is full of viruses. How yeah. Do you, how do you know? Are you spying on it's me? It's like, first of all, my big computer, the computer that I care about, I mean, the laptop, yeah, I'm sure it's got a virus or two on it, but whatever, I can, I take care of that Most all the time. Most computers do. Yeah, but the big computer, the big computer is not connected to the internet unless it absolutely has to be because of how shitty my connection is. In fact, it's by virtue of my shitty connection that I don't get a whole lot of viruses because by the time the ping happens and they're able to migrate, the fucking connection goes dead because of a goddamn cloud. Man, <laughs> fucking AT&T. <laughs> fucking at Oh, God, that's a whole other goddamn subject. You don't like at and uh... That's pretty. Yeah, I know that is a pretty <laughs> waveform it just made, but but listen, but okay. For those people who are scamming, they fucking deserve every amount of uncomfortable anxiety they can get. I agree. Next time I get a robo call and it leaves me a number, I'm gonna call up and I'm gonna be like. Uh, yes, this is Agent Someone with the Federal Bureau of Investigations. We're calling um, to investigate a recent murder in your area. <laughs> just like, just go back on them. 
It's like, yeah, listen. <laughs> yeah, you're you're from the What's, IRS. I'm from the FBI. I'm from the I'm from the fucking IRS. Actually, it'd be cool to call them as an IRS agent. It's like, hello, this is Bob Johnson, badge number four three four three one seven. I'm with the IRS. I'm calling on behalf of a uh, uh, collection no, agency. I'm calling to, with. The, I'm from the IRS, wondering who the hell are you people? No, I'm calling from the <laughs> IRS because this lo- this company uh, is delinquent on its taxes. <laughs> it's delinquent on its yeah it's i i need to speak with your supervisor right now <laughs> yes this is of the utmost importance. listen we've already called three times one more call and we will send a swat team after you <laughs> uh this is very serious something like that we, we'll get inter, we'll get fucking interpol on your ass yeah. yeah do that we see you're not even located in uh, we united see states. that you're not even located within the united states of america sir <laughs> what is your location like get get all like double double it up because fuck these people. Yeah, they're 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 if they had their way, people like like my grandmother, people who have grandparents, all they they fucking take all their goddamn money. Yeah, fuck these people. So I, when it comes to them, totally unapologetic for making them feel uncomfortable in any fucking way I can. Yeah, fuck them. They deserve it. Yeah, they fucking deserve it. Regular telemarketers, eh, whatever. Okay, even if they get annoying to me, chances are they're getting annoying because they work on commission. And when they get annoying, yes, don't, like, they're, obviously, they're getting annoyed. They're being assholes. But if they're working on commission, it's probably because they're hungry. Mm. So, I mean, for, for them... I have leniency. Someone calls me up pretending to be from fucking Microsoft, it is on. It's fucking on. Or the FBI. Or the, the uh, like someone just calling me. It's like, yes, hello, I am, I don't know, I'm I'm with the, the, the sheriff's office. Yes, uh, we are calling because uh, we, we have word that you are delinquent on some payment or something. Fuck those people. Yeah, because where we live, there's nobody in the sheriff's department. <laughs> sheriff's like department? That. Sheriff's department? We have a sheriff? Yeah. Did he do anything? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I don't know. So long as the fucking cocaine shipments keep going through, he gets paid, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that's the rumor, at least. Well, that's the rumor, at least. <laughs> that's the rumor, at least, yeah. That one's persisted in, in around here for a long time. A long friggin' time that the mayor's in on it. Because this is, what, a corridor into Danville? Yeah, they call it Cocaine Highway. Um running up from where is it running up from greensboro yeah straight into danville yeah and that's why the mayor uh that's why the series of mayors that we have don't do shit because if they were to do anything to improve the area it might have more people come in and then people might notice something that's part of it part of it too is this is just an old money racist backwards place Fuckers. and they don't want any foreigners moving in yeah is that is that a reason that you <clears throat> that, are you just like guesstimating on no, that, no, no, or no, have no, you no. heard that no I've, i mean i've actually it's a little bit of it's a little deductive bit of reasoning and a little bit of things that people have said yeah, like, okay. like there's a there's a car plant down in alabama mississippi they were at caswell county was actually the first choice for it we were actually the first choice the excuse given was is we didn't have enough water to support it. What was said behind closed doors that was told me secondhand information was that they didn't want the influx of people coming from Greensboro, Durham, or even as far as Raleigh moving up this way to work at this plant. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, these fuckers. You know, even though they would have to build housing, which would bring construction jobs, which is really big in this area. And a lot of people could have done really well. And we would have had more restaurants and a larger economy. Probably internet. And, you Hell, know, the whole landscape of this county could be completely different. And we might not even have this conversation because I wouldn't be so fucking pissed off at everything. Exactly. But, yeah. But no, their excuse was, is we actually, the site chosen is where the middle, the, the junior high is now. Oh, well it was and, so important. And then two years later, they built a junior high right there because that was the prime land in the county. They purposely built it there so that people scouting for similar manufacturing facilities wouldn't have as good a choice. Yeah, now that school, what is it? Isn't there a huge crack running down the middle of it now? Not that I'm aware I've, of. I've, I remember back when I was in that school. I was I was part of the first class to actually go through all the way through that school. From 6th to 8th grade? From 6th to 8th grade, okay. yeah. 
<clears throat> and I remember uh, as the uh, as the years would go by, there was you know that hallway. Were you ever inside that thing? I've only visited to see there's, my kids. There's a hallway between where the classes are and where the uh, the lunchroom is. I've been down that hallway once, maybe. And each year, there was a crack on the wall that would gradually go wider and wider and wider. And by the by the time I left, I could fit my hand inside of it. I'm pretty. I I don't remember seeing anything like it. So I'm pretty sure whatever problem there was structurally has been fixed. yeah we're glossed over <laughs> yeah yeah it's not like anyone put the foundation in wrong or anything and it's, uh, you know whatever it's just the school yeah it's just i i by the time i got through there the class that i had been in had wrecked everything well you know the, the prisons are better built and the prisoners are better taken care of than the schools and the kids in, in in the state of north carolina well that's because they have to they have to lower the kids expectations for when they eventually go to prison because of the immense school to prison pipeline that exists in this fucking area. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's well, that's because having that's because all the prisons are privately owned. So in it, North Carolina. Well, okay, I think in this area, and in this area, Not there's to my there's knowledge. some reason behind it where so, someone is getting money. They're state jobs. They're state jobs. And to my knowledge, they're all state prisons. Really. They were when I worked for them. Some somebody somewhere somewhere down the line, someone is making money off of off of these kids going to jail and staying in jail. I'm sure somebody is, yeah. or it's a huge ego trip for them. That's very possible too. Because wasn't there that one judge down in a? Oh God, where was it? Mississippi. He got he recently got, and it was such a pitiful fucking sentence too. He got like five years. A for, judge did. Okay, for 20 years, mm-hmm. this guy was taking bribes <clears throat> from a private prison. Ah, uh, yeah. To make sentences harsher for juveniles. Yeah. And what ended up happening is like something like 680 kids or some some more than 80 kids ended up going to jail and staying in jail for ridiculous amounts of time for because they were getting money per head count. Per head count. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. Call, call me right now. Call me right now. Damn it! Yeah. So they were getting they were getting money per head count. Yeah. And that... he, he 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 and they and their whole lives were utterly destroyed because these kids would go in at fucking thirteen, fourteen years old and stay there for ten. years years yeah because the maximum in a in a juvenile facility the maximum is still up to the age of 25 in some states 10 fucking years in in jail starting at 12 for like minor shoplifting and he said he always said and this is what sicked me out about this guy he always said it was to send a fucking message yeah it was to send a fucking message he's a corrupt that he's a corrupt bat and he only got five five fucking years he should have gotten five years for every kid. He should, yeah. That was that was one of the proposed things by by this group of mothers that that were formed out of children that actually committed suicide because of the experiences that they had that. because yeah. of that. They said one year per every child that was sent to prison wrongly, he would have been in jail for a hundred fucking years. Yeah, and he never would have got out. He never, but no, he's gonna get five years in jail. He's gonna leave jail still with probably a million plus dollars in his goddamn bank account he'll be able to retire all rich and cushy well, see what they need to do now that there's been a, a trial to prove that he, he they need to do a civil trial against him and take all that money from him that's they need to fucking do they need to take all those all, all those families need to sue for every dime he owns every and they su- should get he needs, he needs every to leave dime. that goddamn prison destitute penniless penniless utterly fucking penniless and you know any family he's got once that money's gone is gonna bounce on his ass while he's in prison so that's what he deserves that's what he fucking deserves but no he's get, he getting five years i think at a at a white collar oh yeah because he they he he sentenced adults too he can't go into a prison where someone he sentenced is yeah no. so he's gonna be put in some protective custody bullshit sit on my ass for five years watching tv and do nothing fun house basically basically I mean, I'm not, I'm not so deranged that I would say just ha- take him out and shoot him. I'm not one of those people. I, I, I wouldn't mind. That'd be fine I, with me. No, I got this. I can't do. I can't condone the death penalty. It's not. I can. 
I, I can't because our justice system is not perfect. Nothing's ever going to be perfect enough for that. Yeah, I, I know. And that's why I can't. I can't in good conscience, I can't in good conscience sign off on the death penalty. Because, you know, it's it's like you're assuming that, and, we, and we've killed innocent people before. I can't do it. I can't have my tax dollars go to murder. Essentially, that's what it is. It's murder. It's state-sanctioned murder. But I am all for this guy serving a life sentence or having just See, everything I, taken I'm from him. I'm not because I don't think the taxpayer should have to keep his ass up. Okay, maybe not a life sentence, but, you know, have him come out with nothing. No, that, that I agree with. Give him have, five years, and over that five-year period... Let there be a civil suit that takes every single thing this man owns. His family will probably leave him, and that is what someone like him deserves. Or, or maybe, or maybe not, maybe longer than five years, maybe like twenty. So he not only comes out penniless, but he's also fucking old. No, I want to do the five because think about it. If he comes out with nothing and he has no family because they've abandoned him, most likely he's going to turn to those petty crimes of stealing just to survive because. We're talking about someone who's probably never had to, like, scrap in their probably life. Probably never even had to fucking work. Never. I mean, we could be wrong. He might have grown up dirt poor. But having a feeling that he's lived his life comfy and cushy and, and like this for a long time, that when he comes out and if he has nothing, I could see him turning to, to crime to get by, and then his ass goes to prison for something Again. else, and maybe someone then punishes him by giving him 20 years it, for stealing a piece of bread to eat. Totally, totally fucking doing it. And at the, and, and the, Karmatic and the, justice is better. And then, and, then have, and then have that judge go, and I'm not giving you a, a harsh sentence because I'm an asshole. I'm giving you a harsh sentence to send a message. message. To send a fucking message. That crooked motherfuckers like you make the rest of us look like shit. Yeah. Because that's what it, that's what happens, you know. Just like with the 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 fear of police and everything nowadays, and the whole justice system, because you have a few crooked people that ruin it for everybody else. Yeah, I mean, I would say in general, most police are probably not trigger happy. Let's go wipe out people, cause. But again, the media likes to portray that because well, they need ratings. Well, let's let's not get in on that. But it's <laughs> it's it's those it's those few. And, and and those few institutionalized areas, because there are some precincts that have just just have institutionalized fucking racism. Yeah, and that's that's not even me speculating. Well, and just like New York, you know, long ago they had to weed out all the mafia stuff, which I'm sure that some of that still exists. But you know, back in the what 70s and 80s when most of the cops were on the payroll yeah. of, of some sort of mafia don, you know. Well, so that's going to exist. But but it's it's those it's those guys that do that that give all other honest cops that are just out there trying to look after the community a bad fuck a bad rap. And it makes their jobs harder. It because does because it turns no one, communities no one against them. all the cops. Yeah, and then you have people that get amped up and decide, well, I'm going to go beat this cop's ass because a cop somewhere else beat this guy, and then you've got more problems because this cop may have to defend himself and then you've just got more and more yeah, you just get, it's you like get a downward more... spiral of violence that doesn't and change yeah so so like these these corrupt motherfuckers they they do they make it harder for society and not just the corrupt one when you get to the ones that are shooting it's these guys that never should be in that position yeah absolutely they, I, they need to change the psychological profiling for cops that have to be on the street because what is happening is some of these guys are buckling and instead of grabbing their taser, and I mean, most of them carry taser guns now. That they, they don't have, even have to be close. They can just shoot and taser yeah, somebody. It's, it's, what is it, like a contained battery unit yeah, or something? It's that, a one fire shot. You hit the guy, and if he doesn't drop or you miss, then you may have to move to then, lethal then measures. You, then you, you, know, well, you, move, you move to like pepper spray or well, something. Well, the pepper spray is, yeah. If pepper, it's close okay, enough. pepper spray doesn't work 100% of the time. The taser it's, is supposed to work 100% of the but time. But depending on clothing, whether system. it can penetrate or yeah. whether you hit the guy because you might miss. Too. And then there's that sonic thing. I haven't seen that. But yeah, it, 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 it causes vibrations. It makes the guy sick and it causes them to double over. I've heard about it, but I didn't know of that course, anyone had it in practice. If now, if the guy, if you're, if you're going after somebody who's like on PCP, like so that nothing is going to take yeah, him yeah. down... 
Okay. Yeah, because I, I know a, um, a cop, and they arrested a guy one night on PCP. They got him in handcuffs, and he he broke the handcuffs. Yeah. So, he some, broke both of his wrists and didn't feel it. He some, kept going after Some him. drug that gives them superhuman abilities is, okay. Yeah, you're not going to do anything You're not going to do anything. But for, like, common fucking, like, I, there are stories that are, that are coming out about people who just, like, what was the one guy he stole? He he stole like he stole like Reese's. He stole a thing of Reese's. Ended up getting shot in the in the head. Just like, what is the fucking point of having a taser and pepper spray on your Batman utility belt? And that's what I was getting at. I think some of these cops are not psychologically equipped, and instead of remember training and the steps that they go through, they blank and they grab the gun because it's self-preservation at that point and they know that the gun is going to be the best thing to keep them alive. Or, or alternatively, some of these people just become a cop because they have that secret thrill. Yeah, and that that is the other thing. you got the people that, that get by because I don't think these psychological tests and, and all the testing that they do is strong enough. Because not everybody wants to be a cop, so I don't think the the restrictions are as tight as they should be. Because they need people out there. Yeah, I mean, it, and you get these thrill seeking psychopaths that just want to hurt somebody. Instead of focusing on the marksman ability of some of these people, maybe they should focus on I don't know, like the fucking intellect. Yeah, so, you know, have someone who can think well, in a situation well, and not out, just react. When get, especially when you get out in rural areas like here, it's almost like. There is no real requirement. If you can shoot a gun and you can drive a car, you can be a cop. You can be a cop. Hell yeah. Because believe me, I've come across a few that are... I love this. All of <laughs> all of my disjointed talks with you, are all they all devolve into this <laughs> fucking rant about authority. That's because I hate authority. I know. <laughs> I think that's really what it is. I... I I have a thing about authority. Uh, yeah, he's got a thing about authority. That's why you like Fallout 4. Here, I tell you what, Synaxis. I haven't slept all night. I'm going to take a little bit of a nap here. How about you just tell the audience what you think of Fallout 4? You want me to seriously give I'm, my opinions of Fallout 4? I'm just going to take a little nap. Okay, well, since... It, it'll be it'll be better. It, it'll probably be better than finishing this, this out with some morose conversation <laughs> about people getting shot. <laughs> we could have changed the subject at any time. I know, you but I... You seemed involved in it, too. I got dragged into it, oddly enough. You got dragged into I it. I got dragged into it. I didn't want to talk about this. Really? You made me. <laughs> Okay, so you accept no personal responsibility. I accept absolutely no personal responsibility. And there's for the course. your problem. What? There's your problem. What? I I, I, had, I didn't do anything. I had wrong. nothing to do. You did everything. I had nothing to do you with the course of the conversation. You it. made me talk about it. Right. You uh -huh. brought it up. Sure. You brought it up, man. Okay. It was all absolutely just 100% Xenaxis that brought up everything about <laughs> cops and things, and I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So now I get to yeah, take you, a nap. You didn't bring up the whole thing about the judge and the court yeah, system. Yeah, I got. I, I didn't bring that up at all. That was all you. Well, anyway, I, I get to take a nap now. All right. While Weasel takes a nap, I'll talk about Fallout Four, and I am super excited to play Fallout Four when it comes out this November. We don't even have to wait; just a couple months. <clears throat> so I watched the E three thing about it, and the first thing is that we get to actually see pre war pre-war war, war world and that's kind of your two war war shut world. up you're sleeping be I'm quiet not, no you should I'm not sleep. you wrote me into this again yeah, no, but with your crammer yeah whatever oh my god Zanax. i've been talking for like two hours we taped and now we're doing this my <coughs> a yeah i know and then after this i have a phone call i need to make yeah so i've got a couple of phone calls i need to make actually Oh, I man. thought you wanted me to talk about Fallout 4. Do well, you want to well, cut me off? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just letting are we you gonna, know. Are we going to have a discussion about no, 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 it? No, 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 I'm just letting you know that you don't have a whole lot of time, and since you wanted to talk about Fallout 4, you know, you, you, you better... <laughs> you got to sum it up here. How much time do I have to sum it up? I don't know. Look, Synexus, we operate on a schedule. You know, we just can't talk yeah. about anything <laughs> yeah. and these disjointed talks. Yeah, yeah, we have a set regimen of things, and we hit everything, shark attack, and cops and the justice system. So now we're down to Fallout 4, which was the last thing on our written list that we have oh, really yeah, sitting yeah, no, in front it's of a totally, us. It's a written list, which yeah, you didn't write totally down, scripted. by the way. That's all your fault. Yeah. Everything is destroyed because of you, Zanaxis. Because I'm the intern. You brought the birds here. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, I'll I will give you a dollar if you know what that's from. Mm. Okay, come on, no, come on, I, come on, man. No, the first thing that would hit me would be Hitchcock's The Birds. Ah, there you go. Ah, I cool. get a dollar. Yay! Yeah, that'll, that'll pay for the coffee. You, well, yeah, you kind of owe me a dollar for the coffee. You bring anyway. me coffee. I do. I bring he brings coffee. me coffee in the morning. Yep. So I allow him inside the house. <laughs> Especially a morning like this morning. God damn, I'm fucking tired. Aww. Shit. Ah. Well, you can get some sleep and... You ever, you ever been so damn tired that you can't sleep? Yes. I did 71 hours one time. Fuck. <clears throat> and uh, then, like, after 72 hours, you start hallucinating? I started hallucinating before 72 hours, but yes, after 72 hours, you, you really start hallucinating What'd badly. you see? I have auditory hallucinations, not um, visual so much. So I hear whispered voices, disembodied voices that aren't really there. I saw myself. Really? Yeah, it, I, it was it was uh, during the film when I was in the film program. Uh, I saw myself. I came home. It was one o'clock in the morning. I had been up for uh two days this was back when we had unlimited access to the, to the lab yeah when it was good days when it, when it was good uh i walked in and i saw myself cleaning the dishes and i saw myself in my room really yeah it was like i walked it was it wasn't like i saw them there it was like okay have you ever okay in a video game like a third person shooter or a yeah. first person shooter you know how the camera will do that thing where it zooms into the back of your head mm. it was like that but in reverse i walked in saw myself just like and it projected Come, forward. Yeah, just project forward and, and go do that. And then it another part another me projected out of that one and walked into my room. And it was like I was seeing and it was it, it was like I, I was played something like that where you walk in a room and like a ghost figure of you moves this way and a, it yeah. wasn't ghostly. It was like solid. Yeah, but I mean just it's something like a projection goes this yeah, that's yeah, that that would be trippy. That would be that was that was trippy. and it was all things that I had to do and it was in sequence. So I walked over to the me that was putting the dishes away, mm -hmm. and I started putting the dishes away. And the, that me disappeared, that you disappeared? Well, I walked into. Like you stepped into the physical space. Yeah, I stepped like the camera zooming back into the back of your head. Maybe you actually experienced a temporal disturbance and what you were actually seeing was astral, a you know, I was actually astral projecting, or I was... No, like, like what you were seeing was a different universe, and when you stepped into it, it collapsed... And like you just took the place of the. I was the, I was I I stepped I I uh, the moment I walked into my house, there happened to be a, a very very uh, large gravitational distortion that <clears throat> pushed know, me into the past. Oh no! You said it was something you had to do. It was something I had to do, and yeah. I assumed the place of me doing it. So maybe it did push me into the past. Well, you know, and I just caught up with myself. Or maybe these disturbances always exist. It's just that we can't see them until we reach a certain point. A certain point of what? I don't know. Like money we have to give to Deepak Chopra? <clears throat> no, the money you give is to the internet guy for the knowledge. That's yeah, you have to give the guy on the internet <laughs> the money for the knowledge. In fact, I'm more proud of these 40 billion books I have on audio tape and, and laser disc. <laughs> than I do of my new DeLorean. You see, it's not about the the money. I call money fuel. fuel I call it fuel units. You gotta have fuel units to survive because of now. Is that not the most pretentious, pompous bullshit? Oh my god. We have to do a commercial riff of this guy. Well, let's do that next. I, when we get I, done with this, let's do that. Oh, come on, man. What? Let's not. Oh, because you're too tired? Well, I got to do I actually do have to make a call here, like, now. Oh, okay. And then eventually eat something. Well, I guess we'll wrap this up yeah. and we'll take lunch then. <laughs> yeah, take lunch. Anyway, this is Keep Fuzzy Weasel. Uh, and Zanaxis. And Zanaxis. Thanks for listening. Again, if you want to hear these podcasts early, subscribe to us on SoundCloud. And as always, have a good day. Bye.